When it comes to Thailand, what will occur in your mind? A country of smiles? Thailand's impression cards include tourism, agriculture, fruits, and agricultural byproducts. It's a beautiful country with the fusion of tradition and advanced, natural and technology. With the rapid economic growth in Southeast Asia, which is strongly supported by digitalization. Welcome to Huawei Tech. So first of all, please briefly introduce yourself. My name is Sun Pachai Puvadantana. I'm the CEO of National Telecom Public Company Limited. I'm Wongkut Mijan Sangsit. I'm uh, in charge of the digital business for the National Telecom Thailand. I'm Yudasa Niti Pajit, Vice President of Cloud and Big Data Business of National Telecom. My name is uh, uh, John Yu Lu. I'm uh, the CTO of the Huawei Cloud Stack International Business. Welcome all of you. So in August, the Thai government also just released the core of its national digital transformation goal, its cloud-first strategy. Yeah? Now let's get started from the very beginning. What promotes the Thai government to embark on this strategy? First of all, Colonel Senpatrai, can you share with us the background of this strategy and um, what are the main goals and driving forces behind this? Thailand is adopting the cloud-first policy in order to be the primary infrastructure of the digital economy. And we plan to be the hub, we, we call the cloud hub of the Southeast Asia. For Thailand, uh, we plan to serve uh, more than 220 departments and also the, we expect to reduce the investment budget for 30 to 50 percent. Also, we expect that uh, once we complete the uh, do the migration for the cloud first policy, we we we, we access for the digital infrastructure, mm. government infrastructure, and also this is a magnet that uh, all the the local cloud company and the international cloud company will heavily invest in our country. Then after that, we expect that uh, our our people will have the the good quality of service and also enabling the more business. Mm. And we also uh, choose a worldwide cloud system to be one of the key partners in order to uh, support the cloud-first policy of Thailand. Thanks so much, everyone, for sharing. To promote Thailand's cloud-first strategy, as we all know, the support of Thailand National Telecom is indispensable. So, Dr. Wongo, mm. nice to see you here. NT, as the main implementer of this strategy, can you please tell us in detail what Andy has done in supporting and accomplishing this strategy and what has it achieved? Before the Cloud First policy, Thai government has a project called uh, Government Data Center and Cloud Services, or GDCC, to provide centralized cloud services for government agencies. And National Telecom ONT has been the one that responsible for the implementation and operation of this GDC project, part of the system was implemented using Huawei Cloud Stack. By consolidating the cloud and data center infrastructures, we can reduce a lot of redundancy and we can achieve cost saving of 50%. More than that, by centralization of the management, we can implement uh, consistent cloud, uh, cybersecurity standards so we can protect all the workloads in unified and robust manners. TDCC project also helps uh, provide fast time to market and scalability so government users can adjust their resource according to the demand we needed. More than that, a TDCC project provides redundancy and backup. So in case anything happens to the workload in operation, the backup system and the redundancy can help keep the uh, workload alive. The number of workloads on GDC has increased from 9,000 work, uh, virtual machines in the year 2020. Now we have more than 40,000 virtual machines at the moment. And there are a lot of important workloads on the GDC, including uh, smart bus terminal, 
in uh, one stop service for Eastern Economic Corridor and uh, Health Platform. The project has been extended to include platform as a service and software as a service. Apart from uh, the development of the infrastructures, and he also helped training government personnel to be ready for cloud adoption. By leveraging our experience with the GDCC, NT has worked really closely with the government to shape the cloud-first policy. In this cloud-first policy, we, uh, the government cloud projects will be extended to be a multi-cloud environment where users can select to use cloud service from uh, local and global clouds like Huawei. As the head of construction and operations of GDCC, would you like to share some key experiences, especially during the construction and operation of GDCC, how to ensure the smooth development for the project? Serving at a national government cloud, GDCC has six requirements for security, mm. compliance, and product and service quality. Mm. And Huawei Cloud can meet our requirement to support our government cloud. Huawei Cloud Stack is an on-premises hybrid cloud solution from Huawei, which can interconnect Huawei Cloud Stack with Huawei Cloud in just one click. Hmm. Using the same architecture as hmm. the Huawei, Huawei Public Cloud, Huawei Cloud Stack provides over 80 out-of-the-box cloud services, which enable full-stack capabilities such as object storage service, cloud in container engine, database, big data, AI, and blockchain to support the country digital Thailand strategy. The Taylor OCR service serves local user well, and blockchain technology enable trusted transmission. All these are set to support Thailand to become a future ASEAN digital hub. Mm -hmm. GTCC Cloud Service provides a unified cloud foundation and data sharing platform for ministries and departments. Over the past three years, it has served hundreds of government departments and divisions, deploying thousands of applications to improve public services. Huawei Cloud Stack has played an integral role in helping the Thai government successfully achieve its national vision. How does Huawei Cloud Stack support countries in their digital transformation journeys? And what is its strategy for enabling nations to realize their aspirations? And Thai government and NT is our best partners and uh, uh, give us a lot of amazing insight for the uh, government industry. And uh, as the countries uh, accelerating the uh, migration from the traditional IT to the cloud native uh, architecture, they face three uh, big challenges in uh, building a secure, compliant, and uh, uh, efficient government cloud. Huawei Cloud Stack addresses this problem with its three cloud reference architecture. The uh, secure cloud, the government cloud, and the public cloud. Helping the government uh, deploy the cloud efficiently across various industries. Huawei Cloud Stack has uh, delivered more than 800 government projects around the world. So we have uh, a great ambition and uh, we want collaboration with the, uh, our global great partner to collaborate and uh, to drive in the national leap to the cloud around the world. Thank you so much for one of us sharing about the Huawei Cloud Stack. So we have uh, security cloud, a public cloud and the government cloud. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hello, Nelson Pachai. So, what's the future direction of GDCC? Uh, how will GDCC continue to support Thailand's cloud first strategy to drive the country's digital transformation? Well, uh, like Dr. Wongkot said, that we are serving the uh, GDCC at the moment. We have like more than 35,000 virtual machine and we also have another waiting list a very huge one mm -hmm. once the government announced the cloud first policy as we are working in the infrastructure and service we will move on forward to be the platform and the service and also the software as a service 
in order to do that, uh, we need a lot of the migration and also the we also need the partnership, very good partnership with the Huawei that can help us in order to accelerate our country in order to to do, to do the government transformation. Thank you, thank you so much, for one for sharing, and thank you so much for joining us here. We really wish a bright future for the digital transformation, and let's work together, forging a path to create more landmarks of digital transformation. Thanks so much.